hello soulmates how you all doing in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to use a crinoline and a reginy boning to form a structured sleeve now this is one of the structured sleeve that i've already formed i just want to show you the effects it's so comfy it's very beautiful and neat so i'll be showing you how i achieved that so kindly stay to the end of this tutorial now i'll be i've already done one of these so let's do the second one together now this is um the crinoline i'm going to be using so the length i'll be using is the length of um 21 inches but i'm going to be cutting a length of 23 inches so i'll be cutting four piece of that together yeah now you have to measure your clients on how they want the length of the structure sleeve to be on their body so that is the length you'll be cutting now i'm cutting four pieces of this yeah 23 inches length into four places so this is me just trying to cut it now this crinoline you can decide to use any length of crinoline you want to depend on the total length of the structure sleeve so guys now I'm going to be placing, the way you see me placing it like that, you place your crinoline that way and you'll be sewing on your machine. You're going to sew, so you do that for the second one. Take two crinoline together and you sew them. So let me do that. Now guys, this is it. I've already sewed it. Can you see the middle line here? Yes, so I sew the two like that. So the reason why I said you have to cut excess length of crinoline is because there's no how if you are sewing one will be longer than one. So you, you try and trim off the the one that is longer than the other. So after doing that, guys, so you now place the two crinoline together. Yeah. So you place it together like that. Now you're going to use your pins to secure it together. So this is me just trying to use my paints to secure. Now you're going to secure very close to the middle. So that is me just using the paints to hold them together so that they don't shift if I'm going to sew it on the on the machine. So guys, I'm going now to be using the reginine boning. Yeah, so you're going to cut the length of the crinoline. You cut the total length so you're going to cut two of this regimen boning now this tutorial is the first one because it's it's not supposed to be too long yeah so you cut two of this after cutting you now take it to the ironing table and you iron it just try and iron it so that it can be flat so this is it guys after ironing this is what it looks like so you now take one of the regimen bone so you, you place it on the side of the crinoline the way you see me doing like that so you sew on the tip in the regimen bone you always have this white edge so it's on that edge that you sew because when you sew on the rough edges at the middle your thread to your thread rather will just start cutting so you do the same thing for the other side so now this is it guys after sewing my regimen boning on it i'm just trying to trim off the excess regimen bone so you sew on the two sides like here on the two sides so after sewing guys now look at that side whatever excess you have at the side the way i'm touching like that please do not trim it because if you trim it it's going to give your your fab your mat your material very rough edge and it should be choking your clients yes do not trim it just leave it like that so this is this is how to use your regimen boning and your crinoline together so i'm just trying to remove the paints now because we will be putting it into the fabric now you can use any fabric of your choice because i'm actually sewing a corset dress that i use a velvet so i'll be using the velvet also for the sleeve now i have cut a velvet yes i cut a velvet of 5.5 inches yeah the crinoline length is 4.5 i cut 5.5 that is one inch um allowance added so i'm going to be sewing with half inch then that means i have extra half inch left for ease yes so you sew with half inch 
like that any fabric you are working with make sure you gum it very well with interfacing yeah so guys now you're going to take extra piece of fabric so you just cut just watch the way i'm doing guys so i'm just trying to cut you can cut any length you want then you divide it into two after dividing it into two then you will then take your structured sleeve you're going to place it like that you turn it then you sew on it that way we are sealing that mouth that rough edges we are sealing it so that is the point so you do that for the other side you're going to sew so guys i'll now go to the machine and go and sew this and also sew that one yeah so this is it guys after sewing i have sewed out two mouths then i have also sewed this band with the half inch so i'm trying to turn it out now so after before i even turn it guys i'm going to be ironing it so that is me ironing it flat so i'm trying to turn it yes yeah, so after turning you will now take your structure sleeve you fold it the way i'm folding it like this yes yeah, so you open your your band and you're going to push it inside so you push it inside now the place you sew make sure it's at the middle at the middle that place you sew you can see it make sure it is at the middle so that when you turn it is not going to show so i'm trying to trim off the excess um length that i don't need after you trim guys make sure you have half half inch left on both sides because that way you're going to just fold it inside a little and you just sew that way you're sealing the mouth yeah so guys you can see i'm trying to show you that, that middle line that i sew yeah that line that i sew make sure it is at the middle so yeah guys so i'm going to fix it on the on the fabric then you will see the outcome so this is it guys can you see how beautiful that structure sleeve is like it's so very 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 neat and um it's so flat like there's no row i don't know how I'll, i don't know how i'm going to describe it but the feeling is you know is 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 perfect yeah this is it is very fine it's very fine and easy so guys um watch out this space for more videos and share to your lovely friends thank you guys i'll see you all bye